this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. You're here once again in Seven Days to Die Alpha 20.4 um, Stable Branch. It is stable now, and we are just outside Prowl and Pete's, which we are making our temporary home. And I'm just making an easier way to access it. I'm trying to anyway. We've got a zombie over here. So, he seems to be leaving. I was gonna kill him. I think we still should kill him. Dude! I'm having issue with leg. I'm having a real issue with leg, you guys. We need to chop down some more trees. I'm gonna get some more of this stuff here. All right, we are hungry. So I have this nice blueberry pie, um, make, I think we'll save the blueberry pie and we'll eat the can of chili. We already drank our water. So yeah, we are having some issues. So I just wanted a safe way to go in and out. And I'm probably going to fix this tomorrow, but right now we just need a hatch and I couldn't make the hatch. I just made this entrance off off on um, camera because I was just going to wait till morning to start the next episode. But then I thought, well, I might as well bring you guys back for this. Since zombies were coming out of nowhere and attacking. Okay, we've got some old trash over here. So this is our safe area. There are a lot of zombies around. But you know what? They can just do whatever they want. I don't care. I basically just wanted to make like a little area with a roof. So I think what I'm going to do is stand on here. And let's make some more frames. Um, I 
Let's just make ten more for now. And I basically just wanted a little place where I could stand with the roof over me. So that if, if the, if the uh, birds try to get in, they have to come sideways and not just right from on top. So yeah, I just wanted a little place like this to hide. So let's make a chest. Maybe let's... Well, let's just make one for now. For now, I'm just going to throw the chest right here. And we're going to uh, dump some stuff out. I think first, though, we'll make a campfire. And I wanted to put the campfire on the land claim box, can I? I can. Awesome. Okay, now we can dump some stuff out. So we have one more drink that we could drink. We have this yucca juice. And I guess we could take a chance. No, we have two. We have two. We have yucca juice, and we have red tea, and then that's it. And for food, we have pears, soup, and we have blueberry pie, and what else do we have? We have sham. We have lamb rations, and we have blueberry pie here. And then we have one potato, one egg, and one ear of corn. I just gotta get organized, you guys. Hang on a second. So it's gonna be getting dark very soon. So I think we're gonna crouch here quietly, if we can, and I'm going to, um, take some points, I think. Yeah, we have four points. So what I want to do Let me see. I like, um, healing factor, fast metabolism. We gain one health every 90 seconds. We need that. And I like pain tolerance tough. Um, we reduce HP loss by 5%. We have a 20% less chance to get stunned. And... I would eventually like to go up Fortitude, but for now we just have two more points left. And let's see. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Maybe Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Um, reduce melee and tools damage use by 8% and power attacks by 15. That's really good. But I also like the one where you run. Rule one cardio, was it? Yeah, you increase stamina when sprinting. I like that. We're going to take that. We're going to save the last one. 
So we're going to save that last point just in case we get a cooking pot when we loot downstairs. Because I, I have not looted. I wanted to do that with you guys. And now that it is nighttime, and look at that big, beautiful moon coming up. Oh, I should not have moved. So we're going to eat some lamb rations. Food is going to be a real issue in this game. But let's watch that beautiful moon come up, and I guess I will see you guys in the morning, unless something else happens. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Okay guys, so it is 3.22 a.m. It's almost morning. The sun is coming up over the apocalypse. We were safe at night under our little roof, crouching and hiding. Um, we need to go and loot the downstairs of our home. We need to go do that retrieve the supplies thing. I'm really hoping we will find a cooking pot. And maybe some more food and drink downstairs, but we need to have something to eat. We're pretty hungry and thirsty, so we're going to have this can of salmon. And we're going to have this uh, can of pears. And we're going to have this soup. And that is bringing up both our food and our water a little bit. So our food is still going up, but our water is not still going up. So we're going to have this red tea. We're going to put some stuff away. Let's just sneak out this way. There have been a lot of footsteps going on through the night. Not fun at all. So let's just watch the sun come up. Watch the stars go down. I always think morning is at 3.30 and I'm kind of shocked when it's not and I don't know why I would think it's 3.30 because that's too early. Like morning usually wouldn't be until 5 or 6 a.m. Three o'clock is the middle of the night. Here comes the sun. There we go. Morning and they are no longer running. Which means we can go down and loot this area. We should probably go outside and take care of the zombies. I I just hope there's not too many of them. Here he is. Was that you making all that noise?
Okay, that's good. Might as well loot this car, right? Since we're here. Oh, we got a wrench. That's good. And we left a lot of stuff in this car, but we'll go get it later. Some cans. Some lock picks. That's nice. All right. What we are really hoping for is a cooking pot. So we got some coffee beans. Cooking pot. Ah, oh, just some brains. Cooking pot. More brains. Something up there. There's a purse with some money in it. Alright. So nothing great here so far. Okay, nothing great there. Food and drink. Come on, food and drink. Yeah, alright. And... There's an untouched cabinet with a can. I think we might have to put a point into Lucky Looter, you know? Because, um, we're not doing great. I was hoping to save that point for hopefully cooking, but let's see if we can find Lucky Looter. I don't know where it is. I don't usually take it. Here it is. Um, so this adds a 5% to loot bonus, and looting is 10% faster. So we'll do that. Big, huge leg right there. Let's check this janitor's cart. Oh, we got a sewing kit and some glue. That's actually pretty nice. There's a garbage pile. Some brass is also nice. We have a soda fountain. Some good water. I will take that. That's nice. And some drinks. Beautiful. And let's pick up all of these chairs. We can scrap them and use them. Some lumber and some nails. And it doesn't look like this is working. What am I stepping on that's making noise here? No, okay, you can't deal with that. I don't think there's anything behind these pictures. Come on, meds. Aloe cream, okay. Some clay and some more lead. Come on, toilet gun. Oh, well, no, just some toilet paper. Literally paper in the toilet. That's funny. Nothing in there. Okay, so that is everything down here. Yes, it is. All right. Let's see if I missed anything here when we were running through. I did. I missed a small food pile with some pears and some beer and some goldenrod flowers. Yeah. 
No, I can't bang on that. I don't see anything else lootable in here. Yeah, I don't see anything lootable down in here. So let me quickly get organized. Okay, so I am a bit organized here. Um, we are going to, I believe, head out. I have a bunch of stuff in here. I don't think there's anything really that I could sell, so I'm going to leave it here for now. And we need to go do that retrieve the supplies thing, which is this way, and maybe we'll find a cooking pot there. So we might as well work on that. Polly, is that you making all that noise? I'm just looking at the time. And uh, I don't want to start this Retrieve the Supplies because I won't be able to finish it. So let's just look around a bit at the town. Looks like we have a fire station here. Okay, so we got a toolkit and something else. We've got a video store. Butcher Pete's, I think that is where we have to do our... Sorry. Our quest is what I meant to say, but I got distracted by this moose or deer um, skeleton. So we have a police station, an attire store, we got a book, what is this? Needle and Thread Volume 5, Dusters. This issue is all about making leather dusters, which not only look great, but keep you cool in the heat and aren't too bad in the cold. All right. I'll take that. And we have another mailbox over here. And we have another book. The Ranger's Guide to Archery. Ooh, nice. Volume 3. Crippling Shot. Shots... To to the leg with arrows or bolts, slow your opponent. Nice. And we've got a bunch of posters down here with lost and missing rewards. Maggie's Corner Cafe. Nice. Maybe we can find some food in there. And what is this? It's like a little construction area. What is that? It's like a block of steel? Metal? And look how nice the street signs look. Like the road signs. And the fences. I like that. I don't know what that is. 
But that might be a cool place to have, um... Wah! For Horde Knight. Scared the heck out of me. Where are you? Hey, we leveled up and we have another skill point to spend. Nice. So I don't think I've ever been in Maggie's before. And I almost didn't see this. So quite a lot in this trash. Some stones and a trophy, some zombie flesh and some money. That's nice. Armstrong Auto at the back of Maggie's Cafe. And it looks like Maggie's Cafe has been bombed. Zombies. Guys, I really want a cooking pot. Ooh, some nice cash. in here. Let's check the soda fountain. Okay, we've got a drink. I'm really scared. I but I see a cooking pot. Oh, we got the cooking pot, you guys. Okay, let's just quickly search this wall oven. Oh, crap. Let's get out. Let's get out. Okay, I had a huge leg spike again. Like, can I close a door in here?
Yeah, this is a bad idea. But we got our cooking pot. Not only that, we got two cooking pots. So that is a happy way to end the episode. We didn't die. We got a cooking pot and we explored part of a new place that I've never seen. Like, I've never seen a lot of these points of interest before, which is awesome. Totally missed. Oh my god, the lag is crazy! I can hardly play this game anymore, you guys. It is so hard to play with this lag. It's just awful. Like, I'll be turning, and halfway through the turn, it just stops and it won't move. So then when, the, when my cursor finally moves, like, it's after my hand has moved it. Anyway, you guys, we got the cooking pot. I'm really happy with that. I'm basically just going to run back home and dump out a bunch of stuff. So I was planning on going, just coming back here and getting organized, and, and um, I just wanted to come back and show you, we've got a giant thunderstorm. It was daylight, and then it got foggy, and then the clouds rolled in, and now we have thunder and lightning, and I don't think that's something I've seen before. Am I just not remembering the rain? I don't remember having rain in Seven Days to Die. So now, is there a way we could collect the rain? Like, is there somewhere to collect the rainwater? Because that would be cool. Well, I'm glad I made us a little place to hide from the rain. We have a little roof here. Alright, so with that, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get organized. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. Leave your comments. And uh, let me know how you're enjoying this. All right, guys, take care. And most importantly of all, stay safe. Bye for now.